Car companies are sure hoping this summer's strong auto sales will roll right over into the fall. August saw the best numbers for a single month in more than a decade. Automakers sold nearly 18 million new cars and trucks at seasonally adjusted annual rates. The new issue of CNET magazine hits the stands today with a look at the future car, future of car technology. Tim Stevens is editor at large with our partners at CNET and joins us at the table to discuss. So let's unpack this. You talk about supercars. Right. What exactly does that mean and what makes them so special? So I just assume it meant speed. Well, that's a big part of it. But supercars are more about the experience. So they're really beautiful cars, really fast cars, really exciting cars. But traditionally, they've been really, really hard to drive. They've been kind of uh, perceived as cars that can kind of throw you into a ditch very quickly because they're very hard to drive. <laughs> uh, but we're seeing a new generation of supercars that have a lot more smarts built in, traction control, stability control, that kind of thing. Uh, to make them a little bit easier to drive, a little bit easier to live with, we're looking right now at the Ford GT, which is there supercar that's coming out next year. It's going to be about $400,000, so not wow. that cheap, but... So it's who's, got some, who's buying that? Uh, people, with, uh, people with a lot of money, obviously, yeah. people <laughs> who love fast cars. But <laughs> interestingly, this car is actually going to be more efficient than some of the supercars we've seen in the past. It's a relatively small motor, 3.5 liter, turbocharged engine. It's very lightweight because it's made of carbon fiber, so it's efficient, too. What about, you, so sorry, what about self-driving cars? Self-driving cars are, of course, a big trend we're seeing through. The, the Ford GT does not drive itself. The whole idea is that you drive the car and have fun. Uh, are but they of course, here to stay self-driving? I'm so afraid of those. Uh, are they here to they stay? Are. They're here to stay, but interestingly, it's not going to be the kind of thing that you're going to wake up one morning and suddenly your car is going to be driving itself. We're seeing this kind of gradual transition from a traditional car into a self-driving car. And that's one of the things that we talk about in the magazine is the, the sort of things that are moving inward to cars today. So things like adaptive cruise control, for example. You get on the highway, and at that point, the car can slow down if it sees a car ahead of it. If you're wandering out of the lane, a lot of cars these days will steer yeah. themselves back in again. These are all features of autonomous cars that are sort of slowly percolating into our current cars. The more digital we get, the more chance there is that somebody can hack in and make us take a wrong turn at Absolutely. Albuquerque. What's the, <laughs> where are they on that question? Uh, security is a huge question. We've seen a lot of hacks lately and we're going to continue to see more hacks. Uh, the automotive industry has really had the benefit of being a really closed proprietary system for a long time now. But as we see more, more advanced technology coming into cars, there's more open systems coming into cars, which makes them a little bit more vulnerable. And, and car manufacturers are, are a little bit on the back foot right now in terms of dealing with these things. But we're seeing a lot of manufacturers go out and hire a lot of great security researchers and hackers and experts and bring them into the fold so that they can be ahead of these things things more. I think it's going to be a continuing problem, but ultimately it is something that's going to get better. And new ways for parents to track their teenagers, considering that, you know, car accidents are the number one death of teenagers, this sounds like a really good thing. Absolutely. So Chevy in the new Malibu has implemented the teen driver feature. Now, this is something that we've seen on other cars, but ultimately what it allows you to do is you can program a specific key that you can then give to your teen, and then when they get in the car, for example, the radio will be disabled until everyone puts on their seatbelt. Mm -hmm. You can set maximum speed limits, and then there'll be an annoying chime that sounds mm -hmm. whenever anybody goes too fast. And the traction control and stability control will always be enabled, so you don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. um, and we've seen this on higher-end cars, but this is on the Malibu, which is a fairly affordable car. The idea being to make it safer and then there's also something called the teen report card, uh -oh. which is basically mom and dad can get in the car at the end, punching their secret pin and take a look at how the teen are driving. I'm going to have to take the steering wheel from you. Thank you. <laughs>